Hey guys, it's Chris Silvey with HealthyConsumer.com. Let's talk about how you can get more value out of using some simple communication techniques in order to improve the outcomes of your visit to a healthcare provider. That's what we're going to be talking about today. First things first, this is going to be a Cliff's Note version of what I'm going to expand upon further in my article on HealthyConsumer.com. So check out the full article in the description below. Communication starts even before you walk into the office. Make sure that you filled out all your paperwork. And in fact, an insider tip here, if you really want to make an impression, a good impression, write a professional letter fax that you will fax to them. By the way, that's one of the easiest ways to get a hold of a healthcare provider is through fax usually, or a web portal or something like that. So write out a list of your general symptoms, don't make a self-diagnosis, and then how you're feeling about that, and then also what your objectives will be for the first visit. That makes a bold impression. I can't guarantee they're gonna look at it, but nine out of 10, ten times they do, and even if they don't, the first thing they'll see right before they come into the door, that's gonna set a nice tone that you are serious about getting better. Next thought is when they come in, you know, you need to be prepared. You need to have done your research, done your homework. So understand the differences between medical terminology. When somebody comes in, you, if, if you came into an office and you're having some shoulder pain, you wouldn't want to say, I've got some shoulder pain over here. You would want to say, I have a sharp stabbing pain in my left shoulder that is worse when I bring it overhead and better when I rest it. So that's an example of something you would want to say versus not saying. The more specific you can be, the better. The better results you're going to get. It's as simple as that. Another thought is have a singular objective when you come into an office. So of another say this, not that would be, I'm here to discuss this versus Ah, uh, you know, my back hurts, my shoulder kind of hurts, I've got a sore throat, I'm thinking about having surgery here, what do you think? Just like anything else in life, if you focus on one thing at a time, you're going to get a lot better results. Another important point is see your healthcare provider as a collaborator, not a superior to you. Yes, they have specialized training, but any good practitioner is going to listen to you and work with you as part of your team. The other thing I would say about that is, if you're not feeling it, when in doubt, walk out. You have other choices unless it's emergent or life-threatening. There's a few teaser tips for you guys. I hope that, that you found that helpful. I hope that gave you some value. I'd be happy to answer more questions below. If you want a more detailed explanation on how you can improve your communication skill, I wrote a pretty thorough article on this. So check out the article in the description below and subscribe if you're new. Give it a like if you found this helpful. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a wonderful day, and cheers to your health.